What's up, guys? How's everybody doing today? Um, I've got a nice, good collection update for you today. Um, fuck. I got three records, uh, seven CDs, and I got a tape. So, fuck, man. I, I don't even think I've had a tape in any of my updates. Because I haven't, I haven't bought a tape in so long, but shit. Alright, um, let's get started. So, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna show the CDs first. I'm just gonna kind of rip through these real quick, because I got a lot to show. So fucking glad this finally came in the mail. Um, this is a Blaze My Sorrow with Black. Uh, I just, uh, did an album review for this album not too long ago. It was my newest album review. It's such a fucking good album, man. Um, I cannot say good enough good things about this album and this band. Um, if you haven't uh, checked out this album, um, if you still haven't checked it out and you've already seen my album review, man, please go fucking check it out. It's really fucking good, especially if you like fucking melodic death metal you'll love this shit yeah it's it's just lyrics and stuff picture of the band right there yeah such a fucking good album man I'm so glad this finally came in the mail i fucking waited like a month for this shit to come in so i'm very fucking pleased to finally have this in my hands fucking great shit um i i said it in my um in my review video for this album but just go go check out the song one last sting that song will definitely make you want to listen to this whole album so yeah please go check this out if you haven't it's a blaze my sorrow black with their newest album this will definitely be on my end of the year list so fucking good oh yeah and this next band i i just saw this band live the other night and they were so fucking good this is Blood Incantation with Star Spawn. Fuck man, this this is this is great shit. Um, if you're not if you're not familiar with this band, um, they're kind of like a technical. Honestly, the best way to describe these guys is like technical atmospheric death metal. I'm not even joking. That's literally the best way to describe these guys. And for those of you that have heard these guys. You'll pro you'll definitely agree with me that that's pretty much what describes their fucking you know music. Now, guys, take it from me. I'm not a huge fan of technical death metal, um, but this is this is done right, and this is really fucking good. Um, this band has been getting a lot of praise recently. Um, it's, it's so fucking good, man, and this. Um, they were such a great fucking live act as well. I was not disappointed. I was gonna, thinking about doing a, a concert review, but I decided not to because I was like, fuck it. But yeah, man, just if they're playing in your city or near your city, go fucking see them, man. I mean, it shouldn't be that expensive. I only, I only had to pay 10 bucks to get in. I mean, I don't know how it is at other venues, but... Man, this is just such a good album, man. Definitely go listen to this shit if you're into the fucking just if you're into death metal or just technical death metal in general, man. Definitely go give this a listen. Um, I mean, it's they're a pretty much a new band. Um, they also they put out an EP last year as well, which was which is also really good. But fuck, man, just go give this album a listen if you haven't. It's really fucking good. Um. Or at least go check out the title track, Star Spawn. That's probably the best song on the album. As, as soon as you hear that track, that will make you want to listen to the rest of the album. You will definitely see this on my end of the year list as well. So fucking good. So yeah, that's Blood Incantation with Star Spawn. Go check that out if you haven't. Alrighty. Actually... I'll wait to show that one. Okay. 
Alrighty, um, picked this one up at my local record store the other day. This is uh, Hypocrisy with Maximum Abduction. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, this is their their EP that they put out um, before they released their fourth album, Abduction. Or Abducted, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's Abducted, not Abduction. My bad. Yeah, man. Good shit. I'm, ki I'm kind of new to Hypocrisy. Um, I hadn't really checked them out before I bought this. So yeah, this is the um, CD shaped, it's like a CD shaped uh, picture disc or kind of thing. I have a couple more of these as well, if you guys recall me showing them. I have a dissection one and an in flames one as well. These are pretty cool. I was actually um, the guy that was working at the record store where I bought this from. Uh, he said he was like, he was like, yeah, man, I remember when this first came out. He said he's like, it came out around the same time as the dissection one. And he was like, I, I he's like, I, I let my buddy borrow it. And he was like, and he was like, I told him, do not put this in your car, your car CD player. So his his friend fucking put it in there and it got stuck in there. But luckily. He was able to get it out um, unharmed, which was good. I'm like, yeah, dude, it even says on the back, it says it right here. It says, do not put it, do not put this in your car stereo system. So it's like, but yeah, um, but yeah, man, good shit. Um, Hypocrisy is pretty good. Um, their earlier stuff is more like just straightforward death metal, but um, then they kind of went into more melodic death metal direction, but still re it's really good. Definitely go uh, give them a listen if you haven't. This actually is not... I checked on Discogs to see how rare this was. It's actually pretty inexpensive. So if you really wanted this, you could get it for pretty cheap. So yeah, Hypocrisy, Maximum Abduction. And then I also picked up Abducted, which is their fourth album. It's a pretty good album. Not like amazing in my opinion, but it was it was pretty it was pretty decent, pretty good. And this uh, inlay kind of folds out into uh, her in uh, booklet pulls out into this poster, which that's kind of cool. Yeah, man, it's a good album. Um, like I said, I'm still kind of new to Hypocrisy, so um, it was pretty good. Not not as good as other melodic death metal that I've heard, but pretty good. I guess the copy I had was a promo. There's a hole punch right there through the barcode. But yeah, man. Go check them out if you haven't, which I'm sure some of you guys are probably already familiar with them. But yeah, Hypocrisy Abducted, I believe... This is their fourth album. Good stuff. Alrighty. Aha, this next one. This is Judas Iscariot with Of Great Eternity. Um, a while back, this is the CD I was talking about that I had to fucking order um, from fucking Northern Heritage. And... Um, they, they just reissued this album on CD, finally, because beforehand, this CD was so ridiculously expensive. So, but yeah, this reissue just came out this year. It's got, like, a um, little, little booklet attached to the little, attached to the case, which is kind of cool. Yeah, man, I've been talking, I know I've been talking about Judas Iscariot way too much lately, but such a great fucking band, though. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, man, um, definitely get a copy of this sooner rather than later, because um, once this shit sells out and it's impossible to find on distros, then you're going to be going to fucking Discogs, and people are going to be wanting like 20, 25 bucks for it. So, like I said, 
I couldn't find any U.S. distros that had this, so I ordered mine through Northern Heritage. They shipped it really fast, so if you really want it, get it from them before it sells out. Really fucking good album. Um, so yeah, Judas Iscariot of Great Eternity. I now have all their albums on CD, so it's fucking great. And it was also really nice of Northern Heritage. They sent me this free CD. Um, this is Dissimulation with Mar... Maras? I don't know how to... There, I know it's like originally has like some really long ass name in front of it. In front of the um, album title. I don't know, it just says that there though. Because I looked it up and it was a, like a different album title, but it still had that there. But yeah, this is their debut album. Um, basically melodic, melodic black metal. These guys are pretty fucking good. I couldn't complain either considering I got this for free. So that was very nice of Northern Heritage to give this to me. I don't remember what country these guys are from. I can't fucking remember. I do not think it's Sweden. I fuck, I can't remember. Uh, let's see. We got a booklet here, which ooh, that's pretty cool. This side. Yeah, man, this is pretty. This is pretty good stuff. Um, not like the. It's not like the best. Melodic black metal I've heard, but it's pretty good. Um, it's definitely a must listen for people that like that kind of stuff. So, and like I said, even if I didn't like it, I can't complain because I got it for free. God damn it! Okay, it goes on like that. It's so weird. Yeah, man, really cool. So maybe I don't know. Maybe if you order something. Order that from Northern Heritage. Maybe they'll send you this for free. I don't know. But yeah. I was very pleased to get this. That's for sure. So yeah, check this band out if you haven't. That's that's Dissimulation with their... I think that's how you pronounce their name. Yeah, Dissimulation. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Debut album. Good stuff. Yeah. Came out in 2002. Forgot to mention that. Alrighty, I got one more CD. Um, this is a good one. Um, this is Terra Knot with Native Sorrow. This, this band's fucking great, man. Um, they are not a, like, a big band. Uh, this is their debut album. They're a band from, uh, Chicago, I believe. Um, uh, actually, um, my buddy is putting together a show here in St. Louis, and these guys are going to be, are coming down to play it, that's, that's how I found out about them, was, was through my friend, um, this, this band's fucking great, man, I can't wait to see these guys, um, go ahead and show that again, um, yeah, re really, just go, go check this out, man, if you're into, like, you know, black metal in general, go fucking give this band a listen, man, these guys are fucking great, um, you can get the CD off their Bandcamp, so if you check them out and you like them, you know, buy their fucking CD, you know, digitally buy their album. Um, I really hope that they're able to release this on vinyl at some point. I doubt it'll happen, but it'd be really fucking sweet if they did. This is a really fucking good album. Um, this will probably be on my end of the year list as well. It's so fucking good. Can't wait to see these guys. So yeah, that's Terranaut with Native Sorrow. Go give them a listen if you haven't, which I doubt any of you have heard of them, but give them a listen. They're a good band. Actually, for, for a few of these, I will leave links in the description if I can find them. Alrighty, and I'm going to show my cassette real quick that I picked up. Um, so I picked this up at the uh, when I went to go see Blood Incantation. I picked this up because um, I picked the, I got the CD from there as well, um, but I picked this up from a different seller. Um, I don't know if you guys remember 
when I did my Savage Master concert review, I mentioned a dude that I got a record from. I also got this cassette from him as well. Uh, this is Siege Column with Secret Forces of the Pentagram. Yeah, this is pretty good stuff, though. Um, I mean, honestly, the only reason why I got this was because um, the record I was picking up from the guy... Um, I had 20 bucks. He didn't have any change on him. So, um, I asked him, I was like, well, do you have anything for five bucks? And he was like, yeah, I got a bunch of these tapes and him and my friend both rec both recommended this demo, which I believe this is this band's second demo, uh, came out this year and I just listened to it earlier and it's really fucking good. Um, I don't remember where these guys are from. I want to say New York, but I'm I'm not 100% on that. Um, yeah, this, this is really good, though. Um, I mean, and I mean, for five bucks, it's not like I could really fucking complain, even if I didn't really like it. So, it's pretty good. Um, just a plain black cassette. Um, I tried looking for this stuff on YouTube earlier. I couldn't find it. Um, I'll check again, though. Um, and if I find something, I'll put it in the description so you guys can give them a listen. Um, if it sounds like it's, you know, up your alley. Um, but yeah, man, just fucking just really good death metal. Um, uh, the vocals were kind of eh, in my opinion, but that's just because I'm not a huge death metal person. So, yeah, I don't know. Good stuff, though. Definitely, uh, if you can find this, I don't know, maybe, maybe they have it on their band camp. You can listen to it on their band camp, maybe. But yeah, if you can, definitely um, give them a listen. They're pretty good. So yeah, Siege Column, Secret Forces of the Pentagram. Good stuff. Alrighty, now we move on to the records. So a while back, I mentioned that um the guy that I got that tape from, he was... Um, I had him hold a record for me because I didn't have the money at the time to buy it. And I was finally able to pick it up. So without further ado, this is Behemoth with uh, From the Pagan Vastlands. Fuck, man. This, this is great shit. Um, man, people can say what they want about Behemoth and, and what they became, you know, nowadays. But fuck, man. Their early stuff was where it's at. I mean, that shit, this shit is so fucking good. So yeah, really nice gatefold. Now, I couldn't find this release on Discogs. I know it was released through Witching Hour Productions. And I'm, I'm guessing it came out... Um, I don't even know when it came out. Um, but anyways, it was limited to 666 copies. And I have number... I can't tell if that's 531 or 534. I don't know. It's probably one. Yeah, it's probably 531. Yeah, man, it's just, this is just fucking so good, man. Um, just behemoths, just what they used to be back in the day, they were just, they were just fucking great. So yeah, just black vinyl. Nothing special. Because the release I found on Discogs was like the most recent release through the same label was like a white vinyl or white marbled vinyl or something. And it was limited to 666 copies. So I was like, huh, well, I guess my release isn't on disc or this release that I have isn't on Discogs, which I thought was kind of weird, but I don't know. I don't know. Good shit, though, man. Um, I mean, Behemoth's early stuff. I mean, this is their, what, their third demo, I think. Um, and then, like, their first couple albums were really fucking good. And that's when they kind of fucking started abandoning the black metal sound and went towards the, the death metal sound that they're best known for nowadays. But, man, this is where it's at, though, man. 
If you haven't heard this, you definitely need to. This is really fucking good stuff. And and they do a really good cover of Mayhem's Death Crush, too. So that's fucking great. So yeah, good stuff. I was very happy to get a copy of this. Actually, it was funny as fuck, too, because the, uh, the guy that was running the... Uh, the merch table for blood incantation. <laughs> he, he got a, he, um, the, the other dude, um, that I got this, that I bought this from the dude's table that I bought this from, they were set up right next to each other. And he fucking, I guess he either had him hold a copy for him as well, or he literally just bought a copy right there on the spot. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he fucking, he, he fucking like gave him some money and, fucking got got this record from him as well or whatever and i was like and i and i told the guy i was like see he wanted it too and he was like yeah man this shit's fucking awesome i'm like yeah man this this is really good man um definitely got to go give this a listen if you haven't so yeah that's behemoth with from the pagan vastlands good stuff all righty and Judas Priest, Hellbent for Leather. Picked this up at my local record store the other day. Yeah, man, not much I really need to say about Judas Priest. <laughs> Fuck. This was one of the, one of two Priest albums that I was still missing on uh, vinyl. Uh, 70s albums. I still need to get Sin After Sin. So, I was very happy when I saw this, because I was like, fuck yeah. Um, probably my least favorite 70s Priest album, but it's still a good album, nonetheless. Copy I bought was pretty beat up, but... It played, it played decently for the most part, so I can't really complain. Yeah, vinyl's in decent shape. I mean, it's got some, it's got quite a few imperfections, but you can't really expect much from a record that's damn near 30 years old. Yeah, man, like I said, not much I need to say about Priest, <laughs> because I'm assuming that Pretty much all of you watching have heard this record, so yeah, no reason for me to uh, spend too much time talking about this. So yeah, Judas Priest, Hellbent for Leather. Hellbent, Hellbent for Leather. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. But yeah, man, great stuff. 70s Priest is the best. Alright, and this last one. Very fucking glad to get this one as well. Um, this is Mayhem with Live and Zeets. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, yeah. Live and Zeets, East Germany. November 24th, 1990. Man, this, this is good shit, man. Um... I've mentioned before, I am not a huge mayhem person, but um, anything with fucking dead, man, I gotta fucking get. And um, actually how I found out about this was uh, I was watching one of Craig Legace's videos. I think it's his newest video, and he showed this. And I had no idea that this had come out, so thank God I watched his video, otherwise I would never have known about this. So yeah, man, this is um, one of the few properly recorded shows, live shows from the dead era of Mayhem, released through Peaceville, just came out, literally just came out this year. Um, the, now the sound quality is kind of eh, but I'm quite positive that it's a lot better cleaned up than what it was. Um, it doesn't sound as it doesn't sound as good as the Leipzig show, 
but the sound quality is still um, pretty decent. So yeah, it comes with like this booklet kind of thing. It's got like interviews and stuff and really cool pictures. They did a really good job with this reissue or release. So I think this is like the first time this show has been like properly released. Yeah, man, this is really cool. But yeah, man, I got this. Like, you can get this through Peaceville. Um, now, this was limited. I don't remember how many copies. Um, I think it was like either 1,000 or 5,000. I don't remember. So, if you want this, man, go get it before it goes out of stock. Because then you're going to have people on Discogs charging you twice as much you know and it comes on this really nice gold vinyl which is fucking sweet which i think it looks like it's got like got some marble in there too so that's kind of cool i don't know if you guys can see it yeah you probably can that's pretty cool yeah really fucking good show Yeah, like I said, guys, um, if you want this, um, don't put it off. Go get it while it's still, while Peaceville's still got them. Because this is, this is going to be one of those things where as soon as it goes out of stock, man, you're going to have those fucking douchebags trying to fucking charge you out the ass for it on Discogs and eBay. So if you really want this, go fucking get this before it sells out. Like I said, you can get it on Peaceville. So go get it. So yeah, it's Mayhem, Live and Zeets. Good shit. I was very, very fucking pleased to get that. Alright guys, that's it. I know this was a fucking long update, but I had a lot of shit to show. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, and um, let's see, what video am I going to do next? Fuck. I don't know. I think I got, I might, I might have my, uh, my top, um, uh, I still need to do my top, um, essential glam metal albums video. So, um, that, that'll probably be the next out or next video I do. So, uh, look forward to that and I'll see you guys next time.